It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Toast Ale and Warburton's and it's their collaboration Toast Session IPA that's been made with toasted crumpets. Really interesting. There's the bottle cap. So any misshapen Warburton's crumpet that doesn't make the grade half moon shaped, oblong shaped, doesn't look like a crumpet. They send it over to Toast Ale and Toast Ale turn that crumpet into beer. Planet saving stuff then. Let's get this 330 bottle, 4.2% ABV out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. A really interesting concept. I really like the idea of this is to reuse and recycle. I buy loads of secondhand stuff all of the time. I bought a secondhand table the other day, a glass table for forty pound in like um in Barry we have like um not a we have plenty of food banks, but we have a furniture bank where people kind of donate their old, old furniture and we found this amazing glass table in there. It would have been about two hundred pound brand new. Only a little kind of coffee table type thing, but it was 40 quid. It's like, pfft. it looks space age. It looks like it should be from the Hendersons, from that, that space thing. It's got big chrome legs, and nice glass table, big thick glass on it. Amazing, gladly lift the thing. 40 quid from a, from a furniture bank. So I'm right up for this idea of reusing, recycling, keeping everything kind of, not just throwing stuff away. We got a one finger white head, good levels of carbonation, light kind of amber, straw colored beer, good clarity. There's no, this beer seems sediment free. It doesn't seem bottle conditioned at all. There's not even the kind of like the finest of sediments in there, but never mind. let's get the aroma. Smells good, smells really good. Of course I'm gonna say this, gonna to have to say this, because it's it's essentially the same thing. It's biscuity and it's bready, it's very malty. There's a few things you can do with malt. You can either make Weetabix, you can either make beer, which I prefer, or you can make bread. Smells amazing, nice and hoppy as well. Juicy kind of like light tangerine aromas. Slightly spicy, slightly peppery. Let's dive in. Cheers everyone. Oh, oh. oh my goodness me. That is like the most bready bready beer that I've ever had and I, I think it's more than the crumpets if I'm honest as a, as a beer reviewer I think they've specifically chosen because they wouldn't have just used crumpets I promise you that they would have used malt as well but I think the malt that they've chosen is the most kind of like bready biscuity kind of nutty malt that they could possibly have chosen for this beer and it's correct absolutely correct thing to do if I was brewing a beer with with a bakery then of course you would you would instantly go with the malt that that is best suited to taste like liquid bread but it just doesn't taste like liquid bread there's a lot more going on than just liquid bread it's it's the balance of the hops they got in here it's juicy it's kind of jammy it's kind of tart like flavours coming through on the back end of the hops. There's a nice bitterness coming through. So you've got sweetness from the bready malt to begin with and then you've got some bitterness on the back end. It's a terrific beer. Absolutely terrific beer. This, do you know when you just want something smashable? Just a smash down, but you want to. Uh, there's a good bit of body in the beer as well. There's a nice kind of bready kind of 
multi kind of body going on as well, which it's refreshing, it's tasty, but it's just got that satisfying, it's early March 2020 here, and we've got some nice weather today, but we've had some right storms over the winter. And, and, and in weather like this, I think you want something a little bit wholesome, a little bit hearty, just to put a smile on your face. Now, my mother-in-law, who lives in Italy, says over the winter months, to get through the long winter months, she'll have a bite of chocolate every day, just to put a small smile on her face. Well, I don't really eat that much chocolate, but I will have a, a, a nice beer, and that puts, generally puts a smile on my face. And this is, the, this is the season to be drinking beers like this, just to go, I've had a beer, I'm smiling, I'm happy. It's lovely. Really bready, really bready, really biscuity. Love the bitterness on the back end, the spiciness, the pepperiness. There's a little bit of tangerine coming through. Yeah, it's fun. What a fantastic beer. What a fantastic concept. I'm all up for this. I've always liked what Toast have done. Um, I actually got interviewed by Radio 2 about 18 months ago. Vanessa Feltz phoned me and um, it was something to do with, with beer and breweries and I was actually drinking a toast of ale, I can't remember what it was, and she was fascinated by the concept on Radio 2, she was really kind of like, whoa, um, they actually can make liquid bread and, and uh, yeah, make beer out of disused bread, and yeah, fantastic concept. Recently then, I've had, I think this is the lager, but we had it in a can. Yeah, so we've recently reviewed this on our YouTube channel, the Craft Lager, but we did it can version, we picked it up in Tesco. 5% ABV. Tesco have got a fantastic range of craft beer, which very quickly reminds me there's a couple of beers that have just launched into Tesco where I need to get my hands on. I might have to go out there this afternoon, pick it up. Yeah. Um, what do Toast and Warburton say about this beer then? Warburton's Bakery, founded in 1876, is still a family run business run by the fifth generation of the Warburton family, starting off as a grocery shop in Bolton by Tain, Th Thames, Tom, Bolton by Thomas. And Ellen Warburton is now bakes millions of crumpets each year, including the ones that went into this brew. Raise the toast, save the world, cheers, brewed with surplus crumpets. Fantastic! And then they go on to the tasting notes. You don't need me to read the tasting notes to you because I've given you enough tasting notes. This is just a brewer's kind of example of what the beer should taste like. Because there will be people out there who like the idea of this, who buy this, and they're not necessarily clued up massively on beer. Warburton's Toast, here's the change. Let's give it a rating out of 10. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. It's really, as you would expect, really a really bready, biscuity kind of malty brew with a lovely bitter back end on it and a spicy, peppery back end. It's beautiful. It's a lovely beer. Bitterness kind of catches you on the back of the throat. Not too much though, being a session IPA, it's, it's not kind of massive in terms of the bitterness. It's just a nice touch of bitterness. 4.2% ABV. I, I, you know, just for ethical reasons alone. I'm gonna bump this beer up by two marks just for just because that's where I am in terms of I just mentioned I buy secondhand furniture. Oh. Pardon me. If, if it's good enough for your house, I mean I'm not gonna go and buy brand new stuff that that you know I don't think you need it. I don't think you need it. Um, I'm always in like like technology shops as well buying secondhand games or secondhand secondhand iPods or iPhones or. Whatever, DVDs and all sorts of different things. Um, books, secondhand books. I mean, what's the point in buying a brand new book when you can buy it secondhand and reuse it? Um, for yeah, for, so so for ethical reasons alone, I'm going to give this beer. I would probably give it and I'd probably give it a seven, just the taste and the the the, the beer alone. But I'm going to give it a nine, nine out of ten for the ethical reasons alone. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much to Toastdale for sending the beer. Um, this review was not sponsored at all financially. It was just they sent me some beer. I reviewed it. Bang. Done. Uh, 
9 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.